Hi, my name is Moo and today we are trying to review or give opinions of what we think of Little Misfortune. Um, I am extremely conflicted. Like, in general, this game was... The story is really interesting. Like, I just, the story itself is actually really interesting. But I'm, I'm personally having a lot of issues with this game. Not mechanic-wise, not... Um, anything like that. I'm just having some issues when it comes to how the eight-year-old girl is portrayed in this game. And it, it's really frustrated for me, frustrating for me because in this game, like I know kids nowadays, they, they use a lot of bad language, for example. But this girl, she's eight years old and she continuously keeps on saying fuck. Like, it, it's... Personally, for me, that doesn't feel good. And then there, there's a lot of issues like when she's going down the cave and they're literally making her take drugs, which I also feel like you're you're putting a, an eight year old girl and she's trying drugs in a cave. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't morally feel right. Um, there are a few things that I feel like it is really important to bring up, uh, like at, like except for my morally issues like my moral issues but like i really like that they bring up that she's having a troublesome childhood and and you know that her mom is drinking and her dad is hitting her mom and like how that kind of makes she bad but then also like there's situations where or her mom has said that she wanted to abort the child which i'm sure that happens somewhere so i think it's important to bring up those kind of situations at times but it's and, and, and like I, that's that that's not what bothers me that that is just like somewhere I feel at least I feel so sorry for this little misfortune <laughs> misfortune because of that um because of that uh, situation where well she says oh my mom didn't want me she wanted to abort me but it's illegal which is is not <laughs> a good situation to be in um but the fact that she keeps on saying fuck she keeps on saying like all of these bad things and um, I actually purposely skipped a, a one of the choices that you can make in this game because I am really appalled by it. Um, there is a situation where you go into the amusement park and you can choose two different rides, either the scary ride or you can go to a, um, a carousel ride. Apparently on the carousel ride, um, she starts to moan like this eight-year-old kid starts to moan and the voice is telling her that it's just because you're growing up so basically they're, they're portraying this eight-year-old girl having an orgasm on a carousel which personally for me how to say like personally for me displaying that in the game makes me feel extremely uncomfortable and i don't like that at all personally um I, talk, I, I dropped my, hello, dropped my background. Anyway, <laughs> that, that's fine, okay. Well, so anyway, yes, yeah, so, so that really bothers me. And then, like I said, making her take drugs in this, like, she actually takes drugs in this game. And like, all of these things is, I really don't enjoy that. I really didn't. And so that was actually one of the reasons, like, the, the orgasm scene on that carousel was the reason why I picked the, the, uh, um, the, um, scary ride, so to speak. I did not know that you can choose between those two. I did know that there was a scene where, she, <laughs> where, where it's not very comfortable. Um, so yeah, that, some of these themes in this game really bothers me, and I think cutting them out would have personally for me make this game so much better because it really like having the uncomfortable feeling of her being unwanted and her mom is an alcoholic and telling her that she doesn't want her child like that is is heavy themes that i think it, it's important to bring up and important to highlight because that happens in in, in life you know but the fact if you if Portraying an eight-year-old having an orgasm on a carousel is not. It's, it's not a theme that you need to bring up. Or having an eight-year-old take drugs. It's, it's sure, that can happen too. 
accidentally, which technically happened in this game, but it's still not anything that I feel comfortable with. Uh, or her telling that it, it's it's not as much of a bother, but I don't <laughs> I because it's 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 sad to hear that her her uh, friend found a gun and shot her parents. That is of course very heavy and very bad, and and it's a heavy subject. It didn't bother me to the point where I felt that it was extremely uncomfortable, uh, even though I felt very sad about it and felt very bad about it. But it's just that some of these themes, I just, I just really don't, I really don't enjoy. And um, so yeah, that's me. That's that's my opinion. Uh, it does affect my um, score on this game. Um, speaking of the game itself, it's very simple. You basically uh, move, walk with one with one stick. Uh, you run by holding down RT, and then you make choices with X and B. And you throw glitter with Y. So it's very simple mechanics. Uh, it's a very simple game. I don't think it needs more advanced mechanics either. I think it suits this type of game. And the game itself is, I don't want to say point and click, but a very kind of point and click-esque. Like it, it's kind of very much towards that because yeah, you you walk with the, the joystick, but, but it's still like a kind of like point and click, more or less. Um, I'm not very huge fan of point and click, but I've heard a lot about this game and I've heard a lot of people like discuss it, especially because of the heavy themes that I brought up and, and that I was really happy that I actually could skip, um, or like at least some of them. Um, so that makes me a little bit more comfortable. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. And the reason why I gave it a 5 out of 10 is because the story is absolutely amazing. Like the story itself um, and some of the heavy themes that they bring up, because I think it's important to bring those up, um, does elevate the, the uh, game. If, if you're looking at a point and click type of game, this is actually quite well made. Um, from that point of view, mechanic, uh, type of mechanic-wise, and the type of game it is, it, there's not many bugs and there's not many bad things about it. I think it's well made in that point of view. But the uncomfortable themes that I feel was extremely unnecessary and does lower it to five. I would probably have given it a six or, or seven. Otherwise, actually, because the story is actually quite interesting, I think. But yeah, I'm going to give it a 5 or 10 because it really made me feel the bad type of uncomfortable that I really don't want to experience. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate that. And as usual, we're going to end up with a very awkward dance. I'll see you. Bye.